Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all how to make dalgos. First we start off with our meat, which is one and a half kilo marinated overnight, cut and washed and marinated. In the marinade, I used uh, the chopped spice, uh, two teaspoon and a teaspoon of Worcester sauce and half a cup of um, a quarter cup of oil and a, a, a teaspoon of ginger garlic marinated to the meat. And these are the ingredients that we're going to go through that you need for the dalgos. You need a quarter cup of oil Briani dal soaked or picked and soaked overnight and pea dal that which I just boiled with half a teaspoon of salt uh, and then we had we got uh, a crushed onions we got ginger garlic crushed tomato and these roughly cut onions are for the after braise with your rama and then we have thyme uh, curry leaf and biryani mix that have our soap and our bay leaf and cinnamon stick and thereafter we have masala uh, two tablespoons of mix masala a teaspoon of hardi a teaspoon of garam masala a teaspoon of dania masala and then I have rough salt, which is a teaspoon. A litre of water for cooking the meat and dania and shallots for garnishing. Okay, my pot is hot. So I had in the quarter cup of oil for braising. crushed onions and biryani mix adding our thyme, our curry leaf to cook with the oil, and there after our ginger garlic, we have to fry these ingredients so the onion is brown. Always use a me medium meat. Okay, my onions and the other ingredients are fried out. I throw in all my masala for a few cooking for a few minutes, stirring in. And then after I had, I will add my meat. It's best to use a little bony meat because your gravies can get through the bones. I will allow this to fry out. It's very important to fry out your meat. And I stir it and lower the heat for it to cook on its own. 
now that the meat is fried out for about 20 minutes on a very low heat I will add in a level spoon of uh, rough salt that's a teaspoon and thereafter my tomato to fry in with I'll give it another 10 minutes for frying out stay in well you can see the gravies of the meat as she gets off the meat itself Now look at the meat, how lovely it's braised out. We will raise the heat because the meat is still a little hard. From this one litre water we will adjust and use half the litre water first. Half litre. This is half litre water and we raise the heat and bring it to the boil and keep watching our meat getting soft. Now you can leave it to cook for a further half an hour. Thereafter we'll check on it. My meat is still hard. I got a, a little hard cooking lamb. So I need to use the additional water that makes it a litre of water also and thereafter I will let it cook for another 30 minutes now that my gravy has reduced and the meat is getting sort of soft I'm going to add in my biryani doll but up to this point if you want mutton curry instead of the biryani doll you can add in your potatoes which will give you mutton curry I will allow this dal to cook for another 10 minutes or so because it was soaked overnight. Now that the biryani dal is uh, cooked for ten, a further 10 minutes, I will add in the pea dal that I boiled this morning and allow it to cook for another 15 minutes and then garnish in the meantime I'll show you how to braise the dal from top but if there is a lot of oil that surface which comes out from the fatty meat you can take a two slices of bread when the oil settles and damp the bread into your pot and you can actually absorb your, oil. Observe your oil from your curry if you don't like it oily I used a tablespoon of Rama and thereafter I'm gonna put in my onions to get brown and add in my jeera and braise and then your dal goes is done. Now that the dal is getting thick, you must continue watching it and stirring it for it not to burn. And you can see the thickness of it. And thereafter, when it's quite thick enough, lower your heat. And there's your onions that's fried out. You add in your jeera. Out. 
can see the thickness of your dal. Now that this is fried, I will add it in. I have my garnish, uh, a few spring, spring onions with dania, washed and cut. I will add in my onions and my jeera first into the pot. Thereafter, garnish with my greens. And mix slightly and then put your stove off. Actually, the dalgos is done. There you are. Dalgos goes very well with rice, roti, bread. Enjoy your meal. Guys, if you like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want uh, any other recipes made up, just uh, comment and we'll uh, get to them in time.